Okay, hi everybody. Uh, this is going to be a really short video. Um, it's really basic. Uh, some guys, I see some of the new fellows that explain um, on our beginners group. Um, they are having a heck of a time with the any file in, in X Plane 11 and how to get things to work properly. And I, I'm 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 wondering maybe some of you know, don't even know what an any file is. Well, any time you put a scenery in your X Plane and you load X Plane, it puts it puts it into your any file, and your any file has to be in a certain order for it to work. And so I'm going to. Uh, Go through it real quick here with you and try and show you. And they're 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 wondering how how do I rearrange things in my any file? So it's quite simple. So you, first of all, you find your X Plane 11, and most of you most of you will have it here. You go into your C drive and your programs files, and it'll be in here down here. It'll say X Plane 11, but I have a Steam version, and if you had a Steam version, you would see it in program files times 86. There will be, there will be, I have Steam here with some other games, but you see Steam, and then you click on Steam Apps, then you click on Common, and you'll see your X Plane 11 in here if, if you have a Steam version. But I have a really big X Plane 11, I have three terabytes of files, so I put mine in my second drive, which is a D drive. Uh, so I, I move my X Plane 11 over here. So what I got to do is I go open up the D drive, Steam, same thing, Steam Apps, Common, X Plane 11. So there it is. Now where your any file is is in your custom scenery. And anytime you put a Steam uh, scenery in here, in the folder in here, um, when you start the game, it'll put it in your any file. And your any file right over at the end this is all my ortho you're looking at here's your any file right at the end you right at the back end at the bottom so you click on your any file and you move it over and the way I have mine I have all my exclusions at the top that is when I want to remove force from sceneries and stuff that's an editing program I have I did all that and then you start so normally if you don't have exclusions you should have all your airports at the top See, here we are, Stockholm City, EX, EGXT, KNFE, there's some planes I threw in there. Those are, those are just uh, library items, you know. Your library items, they can pretty much go anywhere. Um, I, I like to keep them above my, air, above my airports. But you see, here's all my airports. Airport, Pearson, airport, airport. These are these these are all the ICAOs. So those are all the airports. So you put your airports at the top. That's where all your airports go. Those are from the top down. And scroll down. Look at all the airports I have. I have tons and tons of them. Tons and tons and tons of them. And then when you get to but these are all my custom airports. And there's there's my Mr. X library and there's Manchester Buildings. There's an Aerosoft library. You can pretty much show these these libraries anywhere I think and then there's some more airports and more airports and more airports and more airports now when you get down to the bottom of your airports these are airports here here's my orbs my orbs airports here I've corrected it see it says Manchester City I was showing a fella how to fix it and I had the overlay above the Manchester City and it should be below it your overlays should go below your airports, whichever air airport it, it belongs to. So, for instance, here's Barton. So the Barton overlay goes below the Barton airport. If you had another, I had the same thing with Toronto. Say, here's, this, here's the same thing. Pearson Airport. And I got the, uh, the add-ons and the feet and the roads below the airport. And then, when you get to the bottom of your airports... The last airport you want is global airports. That goes right at the bottom of your airports because what that is, is that's all the airports, those are the default airports that X Plane 11 gives you. So, for instance, if you had Pearson Field in here below global airports, when you go to that airport, 
you won't see the custom field. You'll see the default field that X-Plane gives you. So you got to make sure your custom airports are above your global airports. Now I put my True Earth right below my airports because what comes next is is your overlays and your your photo sceneries like uh, like um, uh, Ortho Ortho 4XP. You see, I've got my New Zealand overlay here, but it it belongs with Ortho, so it's above the Ortho scenery. So what I've done is True Earth. I, I put it right here below my global airports. And you notice Orbs gives you True Earth in three files, A, B, and C. And for some reason, it scatters it through your any file. So you got to scroll all through this, and you got to find them. When you find them, look for your global airports. And then here's the global airports, and put them right below. For instance, let's say here's B. And the way you move stuff around, I'll do it for you. Watch. Hold down the left mouse button and drag it over the one you want to move. And then right click on it and cut it, which means copy and paste and leave a space. Now, to move it up here, let's say, then I click on this spot. Left mouse button behind the scenery, just below the, just the one you want to put it below. Hit enter and it'll make it space. Then right click on the space and click paste. So see there you have it. Orbs B, True Earth. And you might scroll through and you'll find it. You'll say, hey, I, that doesn't belong there. I want it below my global airports. So same thing. Hold down the left mouse button. Drag it across. Right click on it. Cut it. Now what I can do is I can left click in front of this one and hit the backspace. Move it up to fill up that space. So we already have this space from earlier, right? So all I got to do now is left click here in this space and click paste. And that's where it goes. A, B, C. And then this other stuff, this is this is for Europe, so it won't affect it. This is, uh, this is VFR objects, prefab buildings, VFR stuff. I may even get rid of these VFR objects. They're all for Germany, so they don't relate to the rest of the sceneries you have because they only affect the sceneries in Germany and half the time the scenery won't run with them so I delete them. I may end up getting rid of these VFR objects, I don't know. And the W2XD Australia is good stuff too but it works funny sometimes but your W2XP you scroll down and you put it just above your ortho overlays. Now here's your ortho 4XP overlays. It goes there, then everything, all your ortho photos. This is KMDW ortho, Chicago ortho. These are ortho photos. And here's your here's your ortho 4XP photos. So put all your ortho photos below your 4XP overlays, which goes right here at the top of these folders. So there's all my ortho 4XP photo scenery. See how many I got. I, you're looking at weeks and weeks of work. Hundreds of them. You see why my files are so big. And you scroll down, and the only, excuse me, and the only thing that goes below the ortho photos, which goes right at the bottom, which is everything above it, is your terrain and your mesh. See, this is all terrain, mesh, 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 mesh fix, mesh. Mesh, terrain, terrain. This hard surface, this, this probably could go up. But mostly it's mesh, mesh, terrain, mesh. It all goes down there. And the very bottom one is your custom scenery uninstaller. So basically, mesh at the bottom, ortho 4XP photos, sceneries next. Scrolling up. And then we'll drag it up and be quicker. And above your ortho, your ortho, you put your 4XP overlays. Then your W2XP HD, if you have any of that. 
and then you can do some libraries. Libraries can go pretty much every anywhere. But I put all my farms and my forests just above that. Then my VFR objects, my prefab objects. Then my true earth, global airports, and airports. Airports at the top. Global airports. And then uh, you see here what I've got my... I like to keep stuff together. Here's all my orbs together. So I've got my true earth here, then my global airports, then my orbs airports, and above my orbs airports, I put my orbs libraries. Just above the orbs airports. That's where I put my libraries for my orbs. And that's how you do it. Like I say, if these could be in two different, these could be in either order. So I could, same as I show you how you move it. Left click. Drag over, right click, cut, click on, on the left click, left click before the S, backspace, left click behind the XP, enter, paste. So these two are libraries, see I just turn them around. But like I said, when you put something into your custom scenery and you start your what you got to do anytime you put something in the custom scenery, start your X Plan 11 one time and then close it and come back to your custom scenery. And whatever you put in will be right at the top. So I'll get an airport here and I want to blow my exclusion. So every time I start it, put something new in, I start X Plan 11, come in here later, shut it down, come in, left click, drag over, move it down. So I hope this helps people. I could. I rearrange stuff so then when you close it you click on the X you'll get this message you want to save the changes always click save and bang there you go if I reopen it I scroll down You notice now that I got my IBY library below my orbs libraries, which is above it. So that's how you do it. I hope this helps everybody. Have a nice day.